Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to use modulation, automation without MIDI controller in VCVREC version 1. Here is Micromap from Stoyer Melder. This is amazing small module with a tuniverter on board that allows us map everything which doesn't have a CV input and also use manual automation and much much more. So here is illustration how it works. We connect tagged one from impromptu. I already mapped here is a mapped and here is mapped micro map to clock divider on clocked and manually adjust it so it's amazing it's really amazing let's see how it works the graphic meter let's increase a bit decrease just awesome let's duplicate it and duplicate text and we allow modulate rampage curve which is really 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 awesome here is also big brother of micro map called cv map he receives poly signal from any kind of out modulation automation so let's m map it to any parameter we want and take tagged one it also works doesn't have uh, any uh, tuniverter on board or something to decrease or increase our voltages or invert and offset so it's quite useful for me uh, using this on complex models like Mixer. CV map really allows fast mapping. So what next? Here is a UT model from Premium BB model spec. What it does? It sends CV signal without any clicks on your mouse it's very touch sensitive model I think let's decrease the time on a tuniverter wow just amazing here is a switch from 0 to 5 voltage uh, 0 to 10 now and just a little bit I think 0 to 1 voltage here yeah. It's an amazing tool for making some creativity in this rack. Now I tested a better version, I think, and I hope it will be updated quite soon. It uh, has a LED upper the cable output and such a lock button uh, to prevent some occasional mouse wiggling when you patching around. It's very handy. Let's test it on Chebyshev from Squinky Labs, which has a huge amount of CV controls. Let's duplicate it. It all locks now. Let's patch it. Okay, we just have connected Chebyshev. Let's down the octave. And let's test this. Let's unlock this. Let's switch it to second mode. Don't do any clicks on the mouse. Just 
just like drawing on the PC. Okay, let's lock it, lock it, lock it, lock it, lock it, lock it, and here we go. So let's continue. Let's continue with Micromap. Uh, here is another reason to use it. Some users don't understand what the modulations do, but this model will animate our knobs. So let's clock BPM LFO. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Let's map it and Let's say mapped it to the timbre. Okay, now it's pretty visual what the modulation is doing. Then looking at sign, for example, I think it's very maybe important thing to newcomers to this VREC and just a handy thing for experts and here is the second reason you can combine two different CV modulation to the model through the micromap and through the ordinary CV input and in that way you will get also modulations by simple steps. Let's add another BPM. Oh no, let's um, use a rampage. Let's clock it. Okay, nice groove. And let's map a tenuverter. This is really fun. It's like you're using VCA for modulation, but without any needing this adding VCA even in digital modular synth. Another cool thing to use micromap is uh, about using it with sequencer to modulate the steps you, you want in sequencer which doesn't have any to be input inputs for each steps. So let's duplicate micromap. Let's add quantizer. I want to use <coughs> JV quantizer. Where is it? Here is it. Let's pass our sequencer. Let's clock it. Set four steps. Connected one volt per octave input of plates. Okay, I need a map, for example, third step. 
by another sequencer here. And I'm gonna do this like that. Set offset right. Let's test a uh, micro map with clocked. I'm gonna use Tect One for hand control. Set scale to the minimum. Let's map it to the another divider. Okay, let's change it to the BPM L4, but slow one. Change it to the square wave. That's way to get a really complex patches by just few clicks, you know. It's a very mind-blowing module. Big thanks to the to Ben Stormelder. You are the man. So this is a patch where I use mapping quite much. So first place I want to notice is the uh, eight step trigger sequencer from Count Modular. So I mapped micro map to mutes so you can hear the hi-hats mute sometimes and uh, in the result we've got a step that that much more than four steps. sequencer from Bog Audio. So it's octave jumping and semitone jumping as well. Next thing what I mapped was um, it's also trigger sequencer. Where is 
it here. So it decrease and invert poly LFO from STS. Just amazing model. It's definitely worth to check out. Of course, main model which I was mapped was macro oscillator to or plates. It's fully mapped. Also I mapped sequencer. And it's mapped by another sequencer. As in previous case.